Welcome back to another video in the series about designing intakes for FTC Robotics. Uh, I'm Coach Pratt, and I've coached teams to win both the Inspire Award and the Winning Alliance Captain at the Netherlands National Championships. So hopefully, some of the advice that I've given my team can help your team find success as well. Today we're talking about intakes, and specifically talking about using a dual servo arm for an intake. The one thing I want you to keep in mind with this video is that it is a seed idea. It is not a fully flushed out idea. It's designed so that you can say, take an intake idea and say, hmm, this is how I might be able to pick something up and be able to build off of it. It is by no means a complete idea. In fact, I, I don't think you should take it as a complete idea. I want you to build on it and think it's a seed that's gonna grow into something bigger. So let's go build a robot together. In this claw, I've got two servos. One is spinning one direction, the other spins the other direction, and when they spin together, they should clamp on to a single joint, like so. Now this works for any object. Uh, I'm using the 2023 FTC Pixel object uh, as a method. So effectively, what I can do is I can move both servos in a direction to be able to open up and be able to grab, to be able to grip any sort of object. Now as I come down, I can grab, grip my object, and for the most part, it's actually pretty stable, but you can see that because I'm not perfectly in line, this likes to pin and pivot a bit because I don't have these things perfectly parallel. So one drawback of using a two server design is you're gonna have to make sure that you design these to be able to be perfectly in line. One way you can get around that is by using some elastic or rubber bands. Now obviously these rubber bands are not perfect in placing them on, but it does provide a lot firmer grip onto there. And that would actually be a pretty functional claw. Now if I were to make some improvements in this claw, I might change these angles here so they're not just a straight bar, uh, so that I could grab from different angles perhaps. Um, I may also consider using a single servo in this and maybe a flat wall because I'm currently using two servos where I could use a gear in the middle. Um, but if you didn't want to do that, this is an option and it actually ends up being, as you see, a pretty solid gripping point for your claw. So I hope that helped you. Uh, again, remember, this is just a seed idea. It's not an idea that you should take as a fully flushed out take and run with, but it is a good place to start with so that you can build this design, start with it, and then work off of here and use this idea as sort of a seed that's gonna grow into a better claw for you. I hope this helps with being able to, uh, some basic concepts about grippers, graspers, picking things up, uh, and especially in the concept of, or in the context of an FTC competitive robotics field. So best of luck with building your robot.